Hi, Shells of Mushful Times. That's Ricky of Mushful Times. And we're with? Ascaris. Well, um, I obviously haven't seen you guys since uh, Bloodstock. Bloodstock, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. What have you been up to in the meantime between this and Badfest? Well, uh, just kind of working on new material mostly. Our drummer Chris has injured himself. We have Mike here. <laughs> Pre just pre met. Previously a storm rider, how you doing? There we go, he is now our drummer. <laughs> and apparently. also previously in Mushville Times. There we go. Who's <laughs> in Mushville Times? Yeah, yeah dude. It's a family reunion. Uh, one of us, one of us. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Chris, our main drummer, uh, he's injured his uh, ankle, so we're just working on new material. We're like we said earlier on, that was that a today, masturbation so. accident, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. We yeah, told yeah. him not to truck the harness, wasn't safe or tested, but uh, yeah, yeah, cool. Ooh. Okay. By well, the way, can I just say, like, um, I have the Dark Metro show on a Thursday night and I always play Old Danil. You do? Um, I've seen the notifications. Do you know, you. it's just amazing, like uh, so much noise can be made by a three-piece. Thank you, thank you. We, uh, um, we, it's, we never really struck out to be the most noisy or most extreme band. We yeah. just kind of ended up there by accident, yeah. but it's, it's good. It's so good. who is it that's bringing the, the glam metal influences into the band? Well, it's clearly Mike, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this magnificent man. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Greetings and salutations. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so uh, have you got anything new coming up for us? Are uh, we going to expect anything new? Is yeah, we've been uh, been working on a couple of new things. Obviously, over the pandemic and yeah. all that. I think everyone was working on new stuff over the pandemic, weren't yeah. they? And yeah, I think we've got a got a view to chuck out a few singles next year. Yeah, I mean, that's sort of what yeah. we're... Uh, Pre-production next week is the plan. Ooh. Is that what you're doing? Are you doing like a single or are you going to release an EP or something? Or? I think the time being, sort of the way everything is at the moment, I think we're just focusing on singles and boshing yeah. out song after song after song after song, kind of always having something current, yeah. always having something out yeah. there to push. Yeah. Because from doing from doing the album, we sort of learned learned a couple of lessons from doing that. I yeah. mean, it was a, a great experience, and we're you know we're all really proud of it. But it was it was challenging at times. Yeah. I mean, the main thing is you know when albums are very kind of it's a drawn out process of getting all the material together, getting all the pre pro, making sure it's all done. And it's been going on just three years and a few days since the race hand came out. So we just want to get some new stuff out there and really kind of start shaping yeah. stuff up, moving on to the next stage. You know, are, are you guys going to be touring anytime soon? We've got plans in the works. Nothing yeah. confirmed, nothing announceable yet, but yeah. uh, there are how, rumblings. How soon are we going to know? I mean, come on. Well, as soon as we know, you'll know. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it should be. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, as the new drummer of the band, um, <laughs> what is it that excites you most about your uh, your new bandmates? Plenty of porn, plenty of drinks, and also wearing a skimpy bikini. <laughs> You're hired. That's what happened to the last drummer, and that's how we broke his ankle. I have experience to see. The Germans know me very well. <laughs> <laughs> the nature has licenses for the appropriate harnesses before. <laughs> <laughs> so see the, the new material that you're writing then, how does it compare to the debut album then? Um, I guess we've, we've kind of found a, found a bit of a rhythm when it comes to writing. Sort yeah. of, I, I know originally it was the three of us bringing our own very disparate influences together yeah but now there's kind of an Ascarist sound I guess something a bit more defined almost yeah, kind of. but also not being afraid to push the boat out a little bit and get a bit weird in yeah. some of the tracks but it's nothing wrong with being a bit weird yeah <laughs> but I mean if, if you like the EP if you like the album it's definitely definitely more of that yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Of, but with a with a little bit extra any decent top. gigs books coming up like big big gigs that we know about I mean, we're playing Badger Fest today, yeah. which is looking like it's going to be absolutely the fantastic. Biggest, the dope. biggest gig. The biggest. Yeah. Yeah. There has never been a bigger gig than that. Badger Fest. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I mean, apart from that, we're down in down in Bridgewater doing the warm-up show for Southwest Heavy Fest. Southwest Heavy Fest warm-up. January 8th. January 8th. And cool. Cobblestones in Bridgewater. It must just be great to get together as a band and rehearse and all the rest of it. But you probably looked at one another saying like, uh, who the hell are you again? What is it you play? And who made the most mistakes? Back oh, in the definitely, definitely. Did made. you recognise this guy? <laughs> well, yeah, we came back and we said, Chris, you're an entirely different human. How did this happen? <laughs> we had some weight and somehow more in shorts. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. the shorts were a surprise, but the weight's actually, you know. Yeah. I'll well, say no more, I'm on camera. Oh, that's I'm me. sorry, Chris, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chris, you've been replaced. <laughs> Yeah. But coming back, I mean, it was it was a long break because we yeah. really we really shut down for the pandemic. We went to our own kind of houses. We wrote individually. We talked, obviously, you know. Yeah. But um, we didn't get back in a room because uh, obviously we, Chris had a baby as well. Yeah. So we were very much all very separate. He, he bust his ankle. Oh no, the baby happened long before the ankle. <laughs> okay. 
Long, long, but we think they're not related. The baby okay. is vicious, we're told, so we're not sure. But. The baby knows jiu-jitsu, you see. And it's oh. broke. It can only reach the ankle. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, coming back off, uh, coming back off the break and having Bloodstock be the first show we went back into, and the adrenaline for that apparently was too much for me. Apparently, I ran away with the tempo and played it far too fast. Somehow, <laughs> played our material too fast. Yeah. But yeah. So Bloodstock was a, a warm-up gig for Badger Fest. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. You want to make sure you get kind of the more you know intimate stuff out of the way before you really hit the big leagues. <laughs> yeah, and obviously Badger Fest comes of its own. Like that's what happens when you go to I Badger mean, Fest regularly. When you come here as many years as I've been coming here, honestly, so the Badger becomes part of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I've actually worked with John actually in the past. He's been uh, driven the part with him. Well, so say that again. I used to be in a band with John actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah he used to be called Driven the Part. Driven apart, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So honestly, I've known him for a long time. He's an excellent guy, excellent friend, honestly. Puts on a great event every year. Oh, yeah. it's certainly, it's my first time, and it certainly seems, it's really warm and welcoming, um, the sound. It's kind it's of funny, brilliant. actually, because the original Badger Fest, I was actually working press with Moshville. It was over at the Star and Garter. Okay. And from starting at the Star and Guards, and now going through all these different venues, you can see how it changes every time. It's always at the same place. You're always expecting a banger of a lineup. Yeah. Like having these guys on board. <laughs> it's a phenomenal So what are we going to expect well. from the Skyrus then? What kind of show? Oh, well, from this show, we're going we're gonna to just come out and we're going to do our best to tear the place apart without our classic thunder machine in the background. You know, we've, um, we've got big boots to fill and a laptop doesn't have feet. <laughs> but we'll do the best we can. We're going to come out, we're going to tear it up. That's what we but do. A laptop doesn't throw a temper tantrum either, does it? No, Chris doesn't either, though. He's very well behaved. Is he? Yeah, well trained. Yeah, he's a well trained drummer. Oh, yeah. He has his moments. <laughs> we love you really, Chris. We miss you dearly. <laughs> right, well, anyway, it's been really yeah, lovely to speak to you guys. Likewise, Let's, thank you. Again. Let's uh, hopefully catch up when you release uh, the new singles. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you send them to Motion Radio. You'll be the first. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll definitely play them. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cheers, guys. Thank you Cheers, very much. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you.